Here we go. Woo-wee. Y'all can see that net going right down through the middle. See it right there. See it right there. Right there. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. I feel them wiggling around in there. That's what we're looking for right there. Perfect, buddy. We ain't playing today. Oh, that's that's all about we're going to need right there. I'm going to put them in this little floating net over here. A hey, gizzard shed, that's what them are right there. They real slimy. I'm going to let them sit in there for a little bit. And some of that slime will dissipate on them. And then when you put them in your bait tank over here, you won't have all that in there stopping your bait tank up. Now we're going to put them in this extreme bait tank right here. Look at all that bait. You can't even see the bottom of the bait tank. Oh, Lord of mercy. What do you think about it, Kevin? It's going to be on, buddy. Well, folks, today, we got Kevin White with me. And today we're going after a fish. It's going to take, it's a two-man job to handle one of them. Man. Yes, sir. <laughs> and we're fishing with big bait today, not a little bait, folks. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm Rocky Drake. Kevin, how big is that sinker? It's a good one. Wait, three ounces? Kevin, he, he's kind of like me. He, I don't even know. But... We don't get into details. It's just yeah. a big sinker. <laughs> with a swivel blow. That swivels keep your line getting twisted up, I guess. Look here. Big bait. Big bait, big fish. Yeah, that's what we come for right here. I showed y'all a big bait we caught this morning. Well, right here's what we come. We come to use it for right here, Lord have mercy. Hold him, Hook. We'll be able to see him here in a minute. It's always exciting to see one come up. Oh, Lord. What we got right here? Look at, see, look at, look at here. Uh huh. Yeah, oh, Lord. Wait, I gotta get the net up on those good nets. Big fish right here. Get in that net, I got you now. Goodness, what a fish, golly. Look at that one there. Look at that, Kevin, got that little circle hook right there in the corner of his mouth. Yeah, look at it just fell out, Kevin. Fell out, fell out. Yeah, well, we're gonna weigh this one, to see what he weighs. Yeah, that big old blue cat right here, yeah. What kind of scales you got? I bought these off Amazon, buddy. Yeah? It's got pounds, it'll fool you though, he's got kilogram on there too, so. <laughs> yeah, put on pounds. What's he saying there, buddy? Uh, hold on. Can you, you still got it? Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> well, look at there, boy. He flopped. <laughs> uh, 20, 28, 20, I just say 28 pounds. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Hold on, let me fix my hair. Hook it right through the nose, just like it right there. And then we just drop it right down there and reel it a couple times up off the bottom. Once it hits the bottom, I reel it up about one or two cranks. Just enough to keep it up off the bottom. Then just hang on. You can see right here, which the front of the boat now is in 22 foot. And when we go back a little bit, you'll watch it drop. Let me go back. You'll see right here it drops off right here. And when it drops off, it's in about 30 foot of water. And these fish are they're they're staging right in behind this drop right here. Oh Lord! <laughs> he liked he liked just hey. He liked to just jerk the pole out of my hand. This ain't this ain't no baby here. I, I can just tell you that right now. It ain't no baby. Oh, I, I just got a glimpse of it. What is it? Oh, look here, the big old blue. Get him, kid. Oh, Lord have mercy, he just took off. Get him in that. Get him in that scoop net. <laughs> I got to get that hook out of his mouth. There we go. Oh, he got my finger. He got my finger. Oh. He did that on purpose. Kevin got one. You got him, Kevin? Oh, I do, buddy. <laughs> Lordy oh, mercy. Yeah. He got some shoulders on him. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this in here loose. Oh, well, this here's flat footed showing up, begging. Yeah, this is this is what we're looking for right here, buddy. Uh oh, he's leaving town. <laughs> 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 Ooh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got this big net ready for him. Oh, oh. <laughs> hold him, hook. Oh, there he is, they bubbles. That could be a big flathead. Oh, oh Lord, look what a big flathead. Look what a big flathead I'm talking about. He's a big waller and flathead. <laughs> Ease this net up under him. That's good in there. Buddy. Yeah, I got that big joker too. Golly, good. Golly, that's what I'm talking about. Right there. It says two pound, three ounces. Uh-oh, hold on. <laughs> Something wrong in it. <laughs> Oh, it's on kilogram, no wonder. Okay, let's see what he weighs. Let's see, Kevin. Oh, he's bouncing right around 19, 20 pounds. Good deal. That's a nice flathead right there. Let me get your picture with that one, Kevin, before you turn him loose. 
Give me a smile. <laughs> Alright folks, we're going we're gonna to show y'all how we're going to turn these big fish loose the proper way. We're going to put the net in the water now to ease him in there. Okay. And we're going to let him stay in there just a minute and revive him. See, just like that right there. I'll get over here where we can see him. Look at what a pretty fish, big fish too. Now, we're going to just ease the net out from under him. See right there? There he went back down in there. Now, when these fish bite, what you'll feel is you'll just feel that man are getting real nervous down there. And when you feel that, you'll feel a little bit of pressure pull down on the end of your pole up there. And what you do is you just pick up on it. And if there's a fish on it, you can you can feel him on there. And then you just reel down like that right there and just pick up on it. And that circle hook will just get right there in his mouth and you got it. Oh, wait a minute. I got one. Oh, just, now we're talking. Now, you got now we're talking. Boy, I felt that big minute down there getting nervous. And all of a sudden, he grabbed it. Boy. <laughs> what is it? Big blue. Scoop him up, Kevin. <laughs> Good. Goodness, look here, y'all. See there? That circle hook right there. Got him. Yeah. Now look at that right there on that side. I don't know what that would be. Look like some, another fish come up and maybe grabbed it. See right here? Look at that. That could be a big old flathead come up and grab that catfish right there. See see how it grabbed down on him like that? Well, you like that eat. See right there? See, you can see his mouth right here. See how that is? All right, folks, I'm going to go over the equipment I'm using here. And this one here is an Abba Garcia bait casting. It's a 5500 C3. It says it's got three ball bearings. And when you catch these kind of fish, you need all the ball bearings you can get. Bass Pro Shop Rod. It's a Graphite CS Series. Seven foot six, medium heavy. So that's what we're fishing with today. Let's catch another. If we run out of bait today, catching these big fish like this, we're going to be too tall and won't be able to drive home. I'm gonna hook him right up through the lip like that right there. That's what I'm gonna do. That's the way I do it anyway. You see it? See that minute right there? See him down in there? He got some wiggle in him. He putting out them vibes. Them catfish over yonder, they can feel them vibes. They come over here and eat him. Let's drop him down. Let's drop him down to the bottom and then pick it up. Yeah. I think he's on here. Here he is. Here he is. Just dropped him back down there and I got him and he's a big one too. This is a big one. Oh, no, no, no. This one. Yeah, this one here got some weight on him. No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this one here is showing, oh, golly, I can't even hardly hold a pole. He's so big. Man, I just dropped that fresh minute right down there. I just got through showing y'all how he's kind of wiggling around. I dropped him down. Boy, he just run up there and got it. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting on this one. <laughs> I've been waiting on this one right here. <laughs> I said, well, I got this 50 pound braid on here. Goodness. This is a big one. I can't wait to see him come up. Might be a big flathead. Got bubbles coming out. Oh, it's going to be a big flat. There he is. I just seen him. See the bubbles right there? Yeah, it's going to be a big flat. Big flathead. This might be. Oh, my Ooh, gosh. He is a man. Oh, Lord, it's bugging you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This one here's, look at that. It's that live bait right there. That's what he get on. It'll catch these big flats. Oh Lord, Kevin, you mean? Get him back in that net, son. Get him. Oh, that there's a good one. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. What's he weigh? Uh, 19, bouncing to 20, 19, about 19.6. Okay, almost 20 pounder. Yeah, look at yeah. yeah. <sighs> it's amazing how strong and flat it is. Lord of mercy, I got to eat a can of sardines right now. I could tear up a can of sardines. Right here's what you got to be careful of. See how that hook right there tw turned and came back and see if a fish hit that right now, you wouldn't catch him. I want to show y'all something about these gizzard shad when you put them in a bait tank like this. Basically, it's any kind of bait tank. See how that water there came up to the surface right there? And what it is, see, this water circulates through this bait tank into the back right here. It's telling you about the, the uh, gizzard shad being so slimy. Well, what happens is that slime stops up these here. See that right there? These socks. This is what filtrates the water in the bait tank. And so you got to change these out for that water to circulate back through. 
I always keep an extra one of these and that way it's quick right here you just you just put this one back in there and put this one on that's all you got to do right there see there we go I don't care what you're fishing for with live bait it's always extremely important to keep a lively minnow on at all times now that that wind's let up it's a lot easier for me to work this trolling motor so what i'm trying to do is just stay right on this current break if you look right there you can see how slick water is and then it gets right in front of me right here and it changes and that's that's the current break that's where that current comes down and goes over a little old ridge there and drops off into deep water so the deeper water is right there where the slack water is and i'm trying to stay just right on the edge of it and just work our way up and down it just back and forth and so far it's working pretty good <laughs> He didn't want to go down in there. He knows what's down there. Now, folks, we've just been sitting in this one little area right here because, you know, when you run all over the river trying to find fish, it just cuts into your fishing time. And so, for me, when you find an area you know there's fish use and feed in on a regular basis, it's best just to fish this one, just one, that one little area because you can waste a lot of time running up down this river. It's a big river. It's a mile across you and these fish, they'll just come up out of that river channel and they'll just move over here and they'll just feed because there's a lot of bait in here for them. And so that's what we've been doing today. Ain't that right, Kevin? Yes, sir, it is. See there? Kevin verified it. He's a catfish, man. There he is, another. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. Uh, no, sure enough, begging. This in here feels like I got the bottom. Oh, oh, this, 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 this could be the biggest one. Oh, this in here, put, this, this in here going down. He's going down the river now. Yeah. Yeah, it's big. It's, this here's, this here, this one here is pulling harder than any of them I've caught today. So. Now, this one here, he took off like a scalded dog. Yeah, he's still taking off, too. Look at that. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah. Well, I felt that man are getting nervous. I know something now. <laughs> I can't help it. I get tore up. When, oh, I, no, this, bit, this is going to be a good one here. This ain't no flathead, I don't think. No, it's a big, oh, wow. What is it? It's a big one, whatever he is. I seen his shadow down in there. Oh, my big gosh. Big old blue. A big blue cat. Oh, Lord, he's a big one, too. And he seen the boat, and he didn't like it. That's a good one, buddy. Yeah, it's good one. Yeah. Just, boy, I'm telling you, oh, Lord. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry, folks. I can't do nothing. Oh, Lord. Get this big joker. In that net, will it fit? <laughs> that right there is why you bring a big net. <laughs> hey, that's a big fish. <laughs> here, let me help you. Get him a golly, look at here. Golly. Ooh. <laughs> that's definitely my biggest one of the day. That's a good one, Lord, have mercy. Now that net a puller. Oh, Lord. Now, hold on, big one. Get that hook out your mouth. Hold on, let me. Hey, you know that jail that people put on their hair? Well, this catfish slime, slime works just as good. There we go. I can't stand up and hold this up. He's too big. He big. Oh, Lord. Look at that big blue cat. Boy, we're having time out here. Yeah, we are. All right, folks, we're going to weigh this fish right here. Hopefully I can hold him up off the floor. Yeah, yeah, look at that big old joker. Uh, he's saying 30. What's he saying? 30, like 29.9 to 30 right 30 in there, pounder. bouncing in there. Hey, folks, hey, I'm, I'm good with 30 pounder. Good Lord, that's a big one. Okay, we're going to turn her loose. Same down here. Put this over here. That like here, boy. If you didn't have a big nest, you wouldn't be doing this right here. I don't say you get one in the boat. Well, put your foot on it. All right. There you go. <laughs> okay. That's a big old fat in there. There he went. Oh, Lord of mercy. That was a tussle. Okay, go out there and get you some of these big gizzard shad like that right there. Look at that boy, big gizzard shad. Catch you some big fish. Kevin back there, he catfish, man. 
Yeah, he can catch them. Folks, appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Right here. Yeah.